Go this way. Library this way. Library. Are we gonna have another scene? Or I'm gonna mute my mic. Mute. Kadoka. Edward. Oh, thank goodness you're okay. That's not completely the case. I have some bad news for you. I saw the caretakers, both the husband and wife. Really? Where were they? They're dead. Apparently they were the ones responsible for killing all the thieves and desperados that were sneaking into the monastery. And with good reason. I don't know. I don't believe You should know very well what has been going on. Ogden was trying to avenge the death of Elaine. Death? Of Elaine? I don't believe it. This is preposterous. Who is Elaine? I have no idea. All I know is Elaine's spirit called me to this place. Tell me. Who is Elaine? And Patrick. The caretakers told me that robbers broke into Elaine's home while Patrick was away and murdered her. Elaine was a benefactor for the caretakers. They took it upon themselves to murder every single robber and desperado that entered their grounds. It was a form of revenge for them. I'm originally from Ireland, you see. Although small, my family had a successful business and was soon able to send me to school, which I loved from a very early age. I was soon accepted to a prestigious university in England, and with my parents' assistance, I made my way across the ocean. I met Patrick at university. We were both studying chemistry and embarking upon similar paths. About that same time, I began competing for the love of a beautiful woman, Elaine, and we had a falling out. I loved Elaine with all my heart. Omnia Winsent Amor. But love does not conquer all. I soon discovered that I lacked the social status and inheritance money necessary to properly care for someone so well-bred and sheltered as Elaine. I gave up my suit and made way for Patrick. To ease my pain, I joined the church and left the secular world behind. And being the perfectionist I am, the Vatican made me a bishop in charge of some very important matters. But it's been so hard to distance myself from one's emotional attachments. Although I had not seen them for 20 years, I wished them all the best in their life together. And if it hadn't been for this, I wouldn't have thought twice about seeing Patrick again. That's right, Patrick. How, how can this be? He promised me he was going to take care of Elaine and make her happy. What could have happened? Being a witness to the gory aftermath. I have a hard time believing the caretakers were acting on revenge alone. Believe me, it was an unimaginably heinous sight. And what about these monsters that keep appearing? No, there's a bigger secret we have yet to uncover. This is the key to Patrick's mansion. Shall we go? And so it begins. Now, this part of the game's kind of ball busting uh, because uh, you have to backtrack. We have both. Let's double check before I, you know, make an idiot of myself. 
We should have both Valna's doll, okay, which we already looked at, and now we have Vigna's doll. Okay, so back in the day, uh, there were those two like mummy-looking creatures. Okay, wait a second. Let's check our guys. You're gonna notice Budok only leveled up twice. When I came back the last time, she had leveled up so much because, uh, you know, being alone and having to level up. But let's go here. Let's check equipment. He's got the sword. You, my friend. Shotgun. Ooh, shotgun. Rifle, shotgun. Rifle, shotgun. Let's do shotgun. Now, we have to backtrack to that hallway, and they give us a specific item. I'm relatively positive you guys know what I'm talking about. But if you don't, you're about to find out. The only thing that pisses me off about this part of the game is no matter how often I do play this, I always end up, when I backtrack here, always always end up getting lost. So, we're going to go here. I would cut this out, but in case you are playing along with me, you can just kind of follow these steps and watch me get pissed off and, you know. Oh, hey, look who's still here. Thiefius Maximus. Hey, nice to, nice to see you're still dead. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to want to, I think, when we get down to the first floor, we're shit, bad time. Bit of the bad time. I really don't feel like I've done much because it's just been a lot of fucking talking these past episode, maybe. I haven't set a timer up, so I have no idea how long I've been recording. And let's see. Ghoulish ghouls. Well, let's do... Oh, nice. Guys are leveled up. Let's do tornadoes. Uh, let's shoot you in the fucking face. Wow. Just... Just Wow. And you'll wait. Come on, Kudel, get that spell off. Damn it. Alright, he's probably going to kill this guy before she gets a chance to do Tornadus. But I really want to start leveling the sword up with, uh, with Edward. Fuck you, yes! And that screws her spell over. Alright, she's... No, no, does she auto-cast on the next... I believe she does, yes, okay. Alright. I don't know why I thought she didn't do that. I don't know. I kind of remember in this game, it's shifting. Shifting around. Alright, any level ups? Items? Swords? Delka level up. I gotta stop fucking clicking! Piety, intelligence, agility, mind. It's gonna be a pretty much a standard for Kudelka. Your agility definitely needs to go up there, big guy. And your intelligence needs to go up for your healing. Uh, let's increase your vitality by two, get you up to 2,000. I should breeze through this game at the levels I'm on and the stat bonuses I have acquired. We're going to want to try our find our way to the font room, by the way. Just a few guys are taking notes. The water font room. Come on, Kudelka. We got things to do. Okay. Up here. Down steps. Come on. Come on. I I am hoping. Sincerely hoping shit. Do I go here? No, 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 no. We don't want to go here. Wait a second. There was something... Did I forget something when I was in here? Looks like it, doesn't it? Tough pistol rounds. I have too many now, anyway. Fucking knew I forgot something. Or did I have too many when I was in here prior? That's what you need to ask yourself. We need to go over here. Doesn't look like it's a door, but yeah. That's a door. Okay, okay, good. We're in the underground tunnel. We're, we're making tracks, guys. We're getting there. Okay, we want to go to the acid tunk. Right? Should be... Which was there to the right. This is, again, the underground tunnel. Shit! We're almost there! I can feel it in my bones! In my aching bones!
Wow. Little twitchy demon guy. And fire! Did that kill him? I hope it did. Alright, there you go, see? All of a sudden it's coming together. We got powerful weapons, our characters, that's why, you know, kept this guy as Pistol Pete, and we're just gonna just move on. So strange. I know I finished up, uh, finished up Doki Doki Panic, which is awesome. Um, shotgun shells, use them. James, there we go. And this game is, we're getting there. We're, we're nearing the conclusion of this game. Okay, we're almost there, guys. I can fucking taste it. Oh, there they are. Looks like the green key. Yeah, they're in the way. Do you want to pull the green key away from them? No. I want to give you your fucking dolls, bitch. No. Hmm. Que? Que bruto se do? Oh, oh yeah, I'm sorry. I was about to go into my menu. No, do that. Give us back our dolls! Run, get away, we still can! Do you want to give them the dolls? Yeah, sure. Take your dolls. Dolls, stop moving. You got the green key. There you go. That's pretty much it. Let's use the green key. And you threw it away, because that's all we needed. Ooh. Let's go down here. We got a potion! Okay. If you remember, this is the uh, jail cell that you fell into when you saw Charlotte, and she said, I bring you out again, guy! That's my, that's my Charlotte voice. I know. Oh, God, me and my voice acting is just fantastic. I believe this is another potion. Yes, it is, and this door leads to... Charlotte's cell. Doesn't look too much like a cell, huh? Ugh, weird. Look at that fake door and shit. Jesus Christ. Okay. Just look around. There's still food on the table. She has a nice cell. If you have to be locked up, why not be locked up here, right? You hear a young girl laughing softly. Suddenly, the first room starts to vibrate and space itself between... Space begins to turn and twist and... You know, you fight a mini-boss here, which is fucking evil furniture. Which really, really, it, it sh just shouldn't be that hard. Because we're going to use Tornado! And you're going to shoot it in the face! Nice! Fucking loving it, man! This here already took damage off of the, what was that, the, the haunted bookshelf? We're gonna smack it with this blade. You can't move. Nice, Edward. Nice parry, my friend. Shit. Don't move forward. Nice. You're gonna move forward like a dick, right? Yeah, oh yeah. So the dog spell just fucking misses. I didn't watch how much damage that took off. I, I blinked. Whatever. Wait here. Edward is poisoned. He can't attack. So we're gonna use shotgun shells. And wait. You, my friend, are going to use Tornado Oh wow, that was fast, brother. Your agility's getting up there. Ah! Bookshelf dead. Let's do it. I'm loving it. Every freak I'm sucking of it. What are you gonna do? What are you doing to Edward? Hmm? Why are you molesting Edward like that? I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Really? You're going to wait. And you, my friend, are going to attack the tri chair. Look at that! Look at that damage! He's a beast! He's a beast, I tell you! Let's use heal. Just, you might as well. Get some spell spell rounds off. You're going to use Tornado Sir! This is technically a mini-boss. It's not a boss. Uh, the, there's a boss coming up next. Definitely a boss coming up next. Definitely. And... Fucking crazy chairs are dead. 
Shannon. Oh shit. Do you know what these are? They're letters from your mother. My mother? Letters? There's so many. Did you know that your mother was a queen of Hanover? It seems that after you were born in secret, your mother was locked up inside Alden Castle. Even while she was imprisoned there, she sent many letters to you here in the monastery. She never laid eyes on you, but she often imagined what you looked like. She dreamt of the day when she would be able to see you. Her letters never got to you, and she was never told of your death, so she continued to write you letters even after you died. Your mother loved you, Charlotte. No, I can't, I can't take, take this now. now. Should she love, love me? me? No, no, no. It's, it's too scary. scary. Hey, I feel warm. What's, What's happening? happening? No, help me. I'm not gonna break you. She love me? I hate you. Don't break me. You, you, you. Charlotte, how does it feel to know you are loved? 